You think it's your privilege to be depressed so that you'll get attention from somebody? You keep playing this. One day you will not able you will not be able to turn back. How did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs and I wish I could do this, but what can I do? You see, I have a choice, and that's what I want to talk about today, choices. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. You see, I can still do a lot of things. At home, I can brush my teeth, comb my hair, get myself ready in the morning. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. Happiness is a choice. That is what I want to live my, my life by. You can't always be happy. Listen, I know. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I, I, I realize the realism in always being happy. Sometimes you have to put up with some crap in your life. But if you are always striving to choose happiness, every day you wake up and you say to yourself, you know what, I am going to choose to not let the outside influences of the world affect my mood. I am going to be in charge of how I feel because I am going to choose happiness. I promise you, you will live a lot happier life. And at least, at least you can try to, right? You just have to set the necessary conditions for health, necessary in incentives for health both for yourself and your children if you have them. Do not set incentives for sickness. I felt depressed. I felt miserable. I felt at times where it may be better to take my life. But with the wisdom that I gathered in my 33 short years of life, I've come to realize that it's just a feeling and in the same way that feeling cold is diminished, the misery of feeling cold is diminished by the insight that spring will come, is the same feeling that you should acknowledge, the same law that you should acknowledge, that no matter how miserable things are right now, it is just a season. It's going to pass. The thing that keeps one living is a sense of future that there will be a tomorrow and tomorrow I've got to do this and then the day after I've got to do that. Not that any of these things have a particular logical purpose or a convincing reason to exist, but they somehow keep one going. In, in the words of Dorothy Parker, a, a, a great um, wit and writer and poet, um, you might as well live.